Can a narcissist sustain a relationship with their new supply? Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Many people often find themselves wondering about the new supply of a narcissist. They ask questions like, will the narcissist be able to maintain a relationship with this new supply? Will the narcissist truly be happy with the new supply? At first glance, it may seem like they are very happy together. When I discuss this topic, I usually ask people how long the narcissist has been with the new supply. It is important to note that narcissists often appear happy at the beginning of a new relationship. This initial phase is sometimes referred to as the honeymoon phase. During this time, the narcissist is likely to show off their new relationship, especially on social media. They want to make sure that you see how happy they are. This is often a deliberate attempt to provoke feelings of jealousy or regret in you. They want to send a message that they have moved on and found someone better, implying that there was something wrong with you. It is crucial to understand that narcissists, in general, will never truly find happiness. This is because they often struggle with deep-seated unhappiness within themselves. Many narcissists carry an internal emptiness that stems from a lack of validation during their childhood. They often felt powerless and unimportant as children, and this feeling of inadequacy follows them into adulthood. No matter who they are with or what situation they find themselves in, they are unlikely to feel satisfied or fulfilled. One key point to remember about narcissists is that while they may seem content with someone for a short period, especially during the initial excitement of a new relationship, this state of happiness does not last long. Eventually, the thrill of a new partner fades, and the narcissist begins to see the flaws in the new supply. Just like any other relationship, the initial excitement can become routine and dull over time. Narcissists are particularly prone to boredom, they can have the most attractive or seemingly perfect partner, but eventually, they will lose interest. They are thrill-seekers who constantly crave new experiences and excitement. The rush of new emotions, such as the release of oxytocin in their brains, is something they actively seek out. Moreover, narcissists typically do not enjoy a mundane lifestyle. They often dislike the routine of a regular 9-to-5 job, spending evenings at home, or engaging in typical family activities. While some narcissists may enter into marriage, they often have other relationships that their partners are completely unaware of. They frequently communicate with multiple people and maintain connections outside of their primary relationship. This means they are never truly focused on just one person. Even when they are with a new supply, it is common for them to have another potential partner in the background. This need for a backup plan is a characteristic behavior of narcissists, as they want to ensure they always have options available. Now, whether a narcissist stays with their new supply or decides to move on often depends on the characteristics of that new supply. Factors such as their intelligence, awareness, and ability to recognize the toxic behavior of the narcissist play a significant role. If the new supply is aware that they are dealing with a toxic individual, even someone who may initially appear naive will eventually begin to notice the harmful tendencies of the narcissist. It is just a matter of time before the truth becomes apparent. The decision to remain in a relationship with a narcissist often hinges on how desperate the new supply is to stay. Many individuals remain in toxic relationships because they fear being alone or they hold on to the false hope that the narcissist will change for the better. Unfortunately, this change rarely occurs. It can take some people years to finally come to the realization that they have been involved with a toxic person. This delay in recognition can be attributed to denial, a reluctance to confront the truth, or a belief that the narcissist genuinely intends to improve. Narcissists are known for making false promises. When they sense that their new supply is withdrawing or becoming less engaged, they will often claim, I'm going to change. However, as time passes, it becomes clear that these promises are empty. The narcissist will eventually seek out new sources of attention and validation. The outcome of the relationship depends largely on the resilience of the new supply and how much they are willing to tolerate the narcissist's behavior. Ultimately, it is important to remember that your ex is your ex for a reason. There are underlying issues that led to the end of that relationship. The narcissist likely crossed your boundaries, treated you poorly, or disrespected you in various ways. 
It is essential not to forget the negative experiences you faced during that relationship. Instead of mourning the narcissist, it is more appropriate to feel sympathy for the new supply. They are likely to face similar challenges, wasting their time and emotional energy on someone who is ultimately harmful. Once a narcissist feels secure in their relationship with the new supply, once they believe they have complete control over that person, they will often begin to treat them poorly. At this point, the narcissist may start to withdraw their attention and focus on other interests, knowing that they already have the new supply hooked. This shift in behavior occurs because the narcissist no longer feels the need to put in the effort to maintain the relationship. They only invest time and energy at the start or when they are attempting to win someone back. Many individuals still feel pain and hurt after being discarded by a narcissist. It is crucial to accept this reality. This process of acceptance is often referred to as radical acceptance, which involves recognizing that you were involved with someone who was not what they appeared to be. The narcissist may have presented themselves as empathetic and caring, leading you to believe they genuinely cared about you. However, the harsh truth is that a narcissist primarily cares about themselves. This self-centeredness extends even to their families. In many cases, narcissists prioritize their own needs above those of their family members, including their children. When a narcissist enters a new relationship, they may initially show kindness to their new partner's children while completely neglecting their own from previous relationships. This behavior highlights their focus on obtaining supply from the new partner, rather than genuinely caring for anyone else. Narcissists often employ various tactics to manipulate and gain favor with their new supply, especially when the new supply is a single parent with children. In these situations, the narcissist will typically try to win over the single parent by being exceptionally nice and charming to their children. This behavior is a clear indication of a manipulative narcissist at work. By focusing on the children, they aim to create a bond with the parent, using the kids as tools to secure some form of benefit for themselves. This benefit could be financial support, a place to live, or even emotional validation. It is important to recognize that many individuals are still grappling with the emotional pain caused by being discarded by a narcissist. A crucial point to understand is that whatever the narcissist did to you in the past, they are likely to repeat that same behavior with the new supply and any subsequent partners they may have. Narcissists tend to follow a predictable pattern of behavior, and this repetition is a key characteristic of their nature. Narcissists become increasingly skilled at manipulation through their experiences with various people. Each interaction provides them with valuable lessons about what tactics are effective and which ones are not. As they gather more experiences, they refine their skills in manipulation, making them more adept at getting what they want from others. Consequently, when a relationship with a new supply begins to falter or becomes monotonous, the narcissist may turn their attention back to you. Many people wonder if a narcissist will return after they have moved on to a new supply. In most cases, about 99% of the time, they will indeed come back. This return can occur whether they have left the new supply or are simply feeling bored or dissatisfied with them. As they start to notice flaws in the new supply or feel disillusioned, they may reach out to you again. This is often driven by their need for an ego boost, they want to see if you are still receptive to them. When a narcissist reaches out to an ex, they typically do so to gauge your reaction, they want to know if you will engage with them or respond positively. This behavior allows them to keep you on the shelf, ready to return to you when their relationship with the new supply deteriorates. This tendency to maintain contact with ex-partners is common among narcissists, as they prefer to have a backup option readily available. This ensures they are never truly alone. One of the deepest fears of a narcissist is the fear of abandonment. They dread being alone, and nothing affects them more than seeing their ex-partner move on to a new relationship. The thought of you being happy with someone else can be particularly painful for them. To prevent this scenario, narcissists often have a new partner lined up before they even end a relationship with you. This pattern indicates that when a narcissist discards you, they likely already have someone waiting in the wings. The manner in which a narcissist discards a partner can vary. They may choose to end the relationship outright, or they might string you along with indifference until you become so frustrated that you decide to leave them. 
When a narcissist begins to show indifference, it is a strong signal that they are either warming up to someone else or are involved in another relationship. Their lack of concern for your feelings or the relationship itself indicates that their energy and focus are directed elsewhere. When a narcissist does show interest in you again, it is often a reaction to your withdrawal or dissatisfaction with their behavior. They may sense that you are pulling away, which prompts them to re-engage with you, especially if things are not going well with their current supply. When a narcissist is particularly nice to you, it is often a sign that they are trying to draw you back into their orbit or that they want something specific from you. This behavior is usually not genuine, instead, it is a manipulation tactic. Conversely, when a narcissist is cold or dismissive toward you, it typically indicates that they do not need you at that moment. They may have found another source of supply or have someone else waiting to take your place. The important thing to understand is that when you are involved with a narcissist, you are dealing with a toxic individual. They generally exhibit behaviors such as dismissiveness, a lack of validation, constant criticism, and judgment. They do not respect your feelings, often failing to return your calls or messages. If they do reach out, it is usually in a way that keeps you on a string, often referred to as breadcrumbing. This means they give you just enough attention to keep you interested while simultaneously putting you down to elevate themselves. Given this dynamic, it is crucial to ask yourself, why should you care about what happens to this person? The reality is that you shouldn't. Instead, your focus should be on your own well-being and personal growth. The most satisfying way to move on from a narcissist is to recognize that you are doing well without them. You should aim to progress in your life, nurture your relationships with family, friends, and colleagues, and keep yourself busy with activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. Accepting the reality of your situation is essential. You may have gotten involved with a narcissist without fully understanding their true nature. It is important to forgive yourself for that lack of awareness. Now that you know what you are dealing with, you can take proactive steps to protect yourself. Pay close attention to how others treat you. A person who genuinely values you will show you respect, they will not belittle you or take your time for granted. Healthy relationships are built on mutual respect and appreciation, and they progress naturally. When evaluating new relationships, observe how the other person behaves over time. If they show consistent respect and empathy, not just during the initial stages, then you can be confident that you are dealing with someone trustworthy. However, it is crucial not to be fooled by initial displays of affection. The first three months of a relationship can often be misleading. In fact, the nicer someone is to you at the beginning, the more cautious you should be. It should raise a red flag if a new acquaintance showers you with intense romantic gestures right away. It is wise to take your time getting to know them. Typically, by the six-month mark, you will have a clearer picture of their true character. This time frame often reveals the narcissist's true nature. You may start to notice negative behaviors, as they begin to withdraw their attention if they feel they are not receiving enough supply from you. During this period, they may start looking for validation elsewhere, causing them to string you along while pursuing other interests. Returning to the question of whether a narcissist will be happy with their new supply, the answer is often yes, at least in the beginning. Initially, the narcissist may idealize the new supply, believing that this person will bring them happiness and meet their needs. They often create a fantasy version of the new supply in their minds, overlooking the fact that every individual has flaws. However, once the narcissist begins to notice these flaws or if they feel that the new supply is not providing the level of admiration and validation they expect, their attitude often shifts. They may become disillusioned or disgusted with the new supply. This reaction is simply a part of the narcissist's nature. They tend to fluctuate between idealization and devaluation, swinging from high to low emotions. When narcissists meet new people, they often come across as extremely friendly and charming. In the beginning, they may seem warm and welcoming, making a great first impression. However, as they spend more time with these individuals, they quickly begin to find faults and shortcomings in them. This pattern is a hallmark of narcissistic relationships, which tend to be short-lived. Narcissists frequently move from one person to another, always in search of someone who can fill their emotional void or make them feel important. 
They are constantly seeking validation and pleasure from others, as their self-worth relies heavily on external sources. The underlying cause of this behavior is that, deep down, narcissists are deeply unhappy with themselves. No matter how much attention or admiration they receive, they will never feel satisfied because they inherently believe they are not enough. This feeling of inadequacy often stems from their childhood experiences. Many narcissists grew up with poor parenting, where their emotional needs were not met. They may have had parents who were emotionally unavailable, who failed to validate their feelings, or who did not provide a sense of control. Some children require extra love and attention to develop a healthy sense of self-worth. Narcissists often fall into the category of children who needed that additional care but did not receive it. They may have been entitled kids who grew up without proper boundaries, leading them to believe they can act however they wish. As adults, they continue this pattern, feeling entitled to more from their partners and relationships. If a relationship with a new supply does last for any length of time, it is usually because the new supply is tolerating unacceptable behavior. This is simply a fact. When people engage in long-term relationships with narcissists, it is often the case that they are enduring disrespect and emotional turmoil. A person with strong boundaries and self-respect would typically not remain in a relationship with a toxic narcissist for long. If you found this information helpful, please take a moment to like this video, leave a comment with your thoughts, share it with others who may benefit, and subscribe for more content. Thank you for your support, and have a wonderful day.